Hey everyone, and welcome to question three associated with the testing characteristics lecture. Again, I encourage you to pause the video, attempt the question yourself, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, you are evaluating a new test for disease X. You begin in a population with a disease prevalence of 10%, a false positive rate of 10%, and a false negative rate of 20%. Part A of the question is asking, how would sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and NPV change if repeated in a population with 30% prevalence. So we remember that prevalence is directly associated with PPV, which again, we remember because the P in prevalence and the P in PPV, and inversely associated with NPV. We also remember that changes in prevalence have no effect on sensitivity or specificity because changes in prevalence are changing the number of patients with or without disease. But we remember sensitivity and specificity are conditional on disease status and therefore changing the number of people with or without disease aren't gonna change sensitivity or specificity. So in this case, with an increase in prevalence, we would anticipate an increase in PPV, a decrease in NPV, and no change in sensitivity or specificity. Part B of the question is asking, how would sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and NPV change in a population with the same prevalence an increased false positive rate and a decreased false negative rate. So let's remember when we draw our table, we always put disease status on top and test result in the rows. And we remember the upper left is true positives. Patients get a positive test result and have disease. Upper right is false positives, patients who get a positive test result but do not have the disease. Bottom left, false negatives, patients with a negative test result who do have the disease. And bottom right is true negative, patients with a negative test result who do not have the disease. And we remember that as we, if we increase the false positive rate, This is going to lead to a decrease in our specificity and a decrease in our PPV. And we can remember all of these have a P in them and they're all associated with one another. And looking at this table, we remember specificity is the probability of getting a negative test result given you do not have the disease. And PPV is the probability of having disease given a positive test result. So in either case, if false positive goes up, our denominator is gonna go up and the value is gonna go down. We then see that the false negative rate goes down. And we remember this is associated with an increase in sensitivity and an increase in NPV. And that is because for sensitivity, it's the probability of getting a positive test result given you have the disease. And for NPV, it's the probability of not having the disease given you had a negative test result. So in either case, if false negatives go down, our denominator will go down and the value will go up. So in this case, we would say sensitivity goes up Specificity goes down, PPV goes down, and NPV goes up. Please like, comment, and share, and good luck.